Hi, I'm Nezvas and I do stuff. So last video I showed you how to create a tool app right in your Godot project. The last segment in my sound system is to create a sound manager. So I wouldn't need a sound player in scene that is calling the sound. For example, bullet. It uh, may collide with a wall and emit a sound, but at the same time it needs to be quail free, essentially cutting sound right off. I created a solution for a situation like that using a sound manager that is going to host sound players and that will allow scenes emit sound uh, without worrying about scenes lifetime. Let's start with creating a folder for auto load and a script called sound manager. I want to have a scene for sound managers. I don't need any fancy node, just simple node. I'll give it a name sound manager add the new script save the scene in auto load folder sound manager ts scene scene file then go to project settings auto load and choose the scene not script and add it now we have a sound manager singleton here i'll expose variables a start count that will be the count of sound players that's initialized right at the beginning of your game. And sound bus for uh, having a name for audio bus, which we will create here. Sounds like, like that. And give it a name here, so we have a reference to that bus. An array for sound players, player list. There will be saved all created sound players. In ready function, I'll iterate th uh, through count of start count. And for each one, create a player, which is a function that creates a new sound player instance. Knowing the name of audio bus, I'm assigning it to the sound player's variable bus. Since it's basically audio stream player but extended with my script. Then I will add that new player as a child, then append it to the player list. I'll have a get player function that will return a sound player, but in case that array is already empty, I'm creating a new player. Then I know I have at least one sound player in my player list, and I can surely pop back from that array. Also, I will need a function to return the player. Also, I will need a function that will return player. It will have argument for the player and sound resource. And sound resource, sound player's reference will be set to no, so it's not referencing any sound player. And returning a player to player list. And lastly, a function to play a sound that can be called from anywhere from your game. In case the sound resource have assigned sound player, it will just trigger a play using that same sound player. And sound resource has a check if the sound is called too fast repeatedly, then it will be ignored. But in case sound player isn't assigned to sound resource, I'm getting a last player from that list. Then connect to player's finished signal. I'm connecting it a return player function and binding a player itself and sound resource that's assigned to that sound player. I'm using connect one shot because I want to be connected only once to that finished signal and then that connection will be removed. And lastly trigger play for the sound resource. In that sound resource I have a fancy function called play managed that will be utilizing a newly created singleton sound manager and call play and passing itself. That means all you need is a reference to a sound resource and you just call play managed and everything happens almost magically. As example, 
Here's a script that will emit a sound. It just needs a reference to sound resource and trigger play managed on that sound resource. That's it. As example, I'll show on Toolapps script where I used sound player, which is no longer needed. And same with this code, because all I need is to have sound to call play managed. And that's it. Let's try it out. <laughs> I hope you learned something new. Please like, share and subscribe. I have many planned tutorials, but I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. So see you next time.